Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. And in today's video, guys, I want to, of course, talk about the update, which might be here today. We don't know. Whenever updates come out, uh, they never give a specific date because it depends on a few different things. But um, I'm assuming it's going to be out very, very close. Probably my guess would be around the time of this video coming out. So I want to talk about that, what I'm looking forward to. And oh no, the Boom Pass. Oh, nice. The season hasn't ended yet. Okay, sweet. So we can, we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the deep one skin if that's still available. Yes, it is. We're gonna grab that, and I want to talk mostly in this video about squad leaders because um, I saw a few comments about it, but I feel like most people might have missed out on what squad leaders is because they're focused on the things that are actually coming in this update. So. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're closing in on 40k, which would be really cool to hit. Um, and don't forget to use that code chicken in the shop. I do appreciate the support. It helps me keep all the fancy lights on. And, yeah. So, first, before we talk... Actually, let's talk about squad leaders first. So, this is coming at some point. We're allowed to talk about it. Um, there's nothing to show as of just yet. Um, I, I think... Well, I, I, I don't think it's coming anytime soon, if it does come. Um, well, it sounds like it's going to, but... Anyways, so squad leaders. This is really cool. This drastically changes how the game is played. So if we go into... Let's actually load up a different troop combo. Um, no, let's do... Let's do 2-6 taunt. Um, so it's really cool. So basically how it's going to work is there's going to be a separate button on um, one of your troop boats. So basically, how it works is your squad leader, you'll have one squad leader among all your troops. Um, and it replaces one of the troops in your landing craft. So heavies will go down to six. If we have a heavy squad leader, um, he's gonna do different things. So the interesting thing is, we could go like this, for example, with our heavies. And we could throw a flare that maybe goes up this way. Or say we want to uh, focus them kind of somewhere else. And then we can throw out our Zookas. They're not going to follow that flare because that one's just for the squad leader. They can take out a bunch of other stuff. Um, obviously, it's not going to work for what we're doing right now. Um, but it's really interesting. I mean, this is going to work on such a different variety of attacks. I can't believe that the NVC base was so weak that that actually was able to take down the base. It's kind of an expensive way to do it in terms of gold, but still fun nonetheless. Um, so yeah, the troops of one landing craft are considered a squad. One squad leader can be attached to one squad, replacing one of the troops in the landing craft. Squad leaders have the same troop types as normal types of troops and can only be attached to the same type of troop as they are. So it'll be a heavy squad leader or a Zooka squad leader or, you know, whatever troop you're using, it'll be that squad leader. There's not going to be a bunch of different ones. They're not going to be, like, brand new troops. Um, using the squad leader does not cost anything. and They can be freely removed and moved around. Squads that have a squad leader attached to a squad attached have a squad leader icon in the corner of their unit icon. So that's what we were just talking about. Um, just kind of how it shows up is it's going to be within that uh, that unit icon that we see there. Um, this one's going to be interesting. Okay, okay. I don't know if we're going to survive here. Oh, we're going to need another smoke. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. One, two, three. We got some Zookas left. It could work. Just depends how they spread. Ooh, around that, uh, around that sawmill. Not really ideal. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting. I mean, it's going to drastically change how the game is played. Um, shock here, maybe. I should have just thrown out a bunch of medkits. And I should have taunted before, too. Ooh, this is looking rough. Looking rough, rough, rough. Let's go three. Enough heavies and bullet, maybe take it down. There we go. Really sloppy attacks, but we're getting the job done. Um, and squad leaders have their own stats. They also have their own special abilities. These abilities can apply only to the leader or to the squad they're leading. Squad leaders also have access to a squad flare. 
This works as a normal flare, but only for that squad. If both flares are active, the one deployed last has priority. This squad flare is deployed from the unit icon the bottom left corner. So you can um, you can deploy their flare, and it just affects them, from what I understand. And uh, it won't affect your other troops. You can move them in all different kinds of directions. Maybe like a Scorcher squad leader to go in and just take out a bunch of mines or distract a shock launcher or something like that. Really, really cool. So you guys let me know um, what you're thinking about squad leaders and just maybe some different uses for them. Um, what they could... Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Can I show this on YouTube? I don't know. Uh... I don't want to watch this ad. Damn it, Boom Beach and your stupid ads. Okay, there we go. Um, so, that's the first time that's actually ever happened. I've never actually watched an ad in game, but um, I guess it kind of works. All right, so let's go to the rewards here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this the dumb way and we're gonna jam our way to the deep one because I want to make sure that I get it. The reason that I do this, honestly, it's not to um, even to show you guys really or anything. It's because I always forget to get the skin if I don't force myself to do it in a video. Um, so, uh, how close were you? Okay, one more maybe? Ooh, that was a lot of gems. Okay, there we go. So we're going to claim all these. We're going to jam the whole boom pass. Um, yeah, you definitely do not need to jam the boom pass. It's definitely easy enough to, uh, uh, to complete this. I shouldn't take gems because I just wasted them all. Um, it's definitely easy enough to complete this with all of the, uh, with all the missions. They're not difficult for the most part, so don't pull a chicken and buy them all with gems. You don't need to. I feel like the time savers, they should put more in. Like, two time savers is really not, like, any value. Th those rewards in general just aren't really that good. Um, I love the speed ups, for sure. But, uh, building blueprint. I have so many building blueprints now. I mean, I do need to upgrade my troops, actually, too. So maybe we should uh, start collecting some of those. Oh, man. I did not make a lot of progress this season on the boom pass. Um, oh, and I forgot to say, very uh, happy to announce that we did, we just have it automatically. I'm so going to load this one up. This one's going to be crazy. Headquarters, fortified. Wait, where's my deep one? Where is my deep one? Oh, I got to get one more. Whoops. I was wondering why I didn't say claim. That was kind of weird. Uh, okay, now we should have it. And we're going to have the most frightening base in all of Boom Beach. Uh, huh. Oh no, it's the island skin chicken. It's the island skin, for God's sakes. Okay, there we go. Look at that, guys. <laughs> it's so creepy. His eyes actually do move. Which is kind of cool. Um, so when you go attack somebody's base, you should see their skins, right? Or if I scout them? The bro has no skins. Maybe it's because I'm at lower level. But uh, yeah, we were able to get our last uh, top 500 guy. So uh, 37 seasons of top 500, which is really cool. If we go over here on the warship, we can look at our uh, final stats. Number 466, 594 battles fought, 298 won, 292 lost. Finished, we were able to hang it up at that 2272, which I was feeling pretty good about. Um, so that was solid. And number 19 in Canada, which is cool. And shout out to the tax, to the task force. Kind of a low season for chicken chips. Usually Salami, Reese, Derek, they're all very close, if not in Legendary. Same with uh, Iron Duke and uh, Ten Ton. All these guys are, are really solid in, uh, in Warships now. Um, but yeah, shout out to all the chicken chippers. You guys crushed it this season pretty well. Everybody in Diamond, or a good chunk of them. I think there was a few people that quit uh, this season, so that's going to happen. That's going to happen. But uh, but yeah, overall, a great season. I left my base up because I wasn't sure if I was going to have to jump back in. 
Uh, I was checking it right up until I went to bed last night, and I was thinking, you know, is this gonna, is this going to uh, slip away from us? I really wasn't sure. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Appreciate you. And uh, let me know what you think of squad leaders. And we'll catch you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.